guys welcome back to my youtube channel with your girl sharon you know back here today with another diy so i'm going to be making diy sunglasses organization i wear glasses so i have to do this guys so these are the things you'll be needing you'll be needing scissors fabric ruler and pencil us glue gun and jeans of your choice but guys be careful take jeans that have already spots these ones are very torn so that's those are the ones i decided to use so let's go ahead and start this diy so first of all i'm just going to be cutting out one panel of this box this was a rechargeable fan box that i've just been keeping for this particular diy no actually i just kept it for in case of in case it is and it came Andy, so I just cut out a, like a square panel. See, guys, go crazy, do hexagon, do pentagon. No, not gone, go safe is allowed. So, guys, that's what you are going to do. Just cut it. I used this fabric in my last video. If you've not yet watched, go and watch it. And the same thing happened, it was too transparent. You know, it has holes, it's like a raffia kind of fabric. I don't know what they call it, but it's can it's kind of like raffia, but like very, very soft raffia. So, guys, this is where I'm going to warn you now. This glue, they did not say it's just glue, they say it's hot glue. Hot, hot. So if it burn you, it's on you. So be careful. I've told you now. Don't say Sharon did not want you. Sharon did. She warned you. So after gluing that, make sure like it's kind of tight, but not too tight. Because if it's too tight, your carton will bend. It's because you only use one. But you can go ahead and use two. But because it's like not it's going to be resting on the wall and everything like there's no point of wasting carton and when you can just make two of it from the same like box so guys after i was done i decided to go ahead and cut out the pockets so i decided to use both colors the blue jeans and the black jeans because my dad i asked for my dad's advice for this diy and he said i should use both and i should place it off center like it was really really talking like a diy yeah. like i learned a lot from him so yes yes sha i shall cut it so i made the flap on top like a bit longer so that i could fold it and like it will form like an m a m yes you guys can see what i'm doing right now it's form like a m so that it's not be looking you know ragged we're not rugged in this place you know but touch yes so that nobody will know that is obvious people will know his jeans but like nobody will know that you you know what i'm trying to say sha? they will not understand that it's one jeans from one time that you just cut like this so after placing it there in whatever manner you want this is the final result guys i am loving it so i just decorated it you know placed it with where all my jewelry are and it looks really nice actually i'm giving it to my sister so this second one is mine ha, it's very cute so i got this old frame i asked my mom for it and she told me to take it i just used my hot glue you need spray paint in color of your choice i use black and white and you need this cord or braid string or any type of rope you can find or every bin and you need your you know assortment of glasses to you know decoration everything when you're done i also need scissors but i didn't show you guys pencil and ruler but you're going to use pencil and ruler in this diy so because this frame is very dirty i have to take it like remove everything that was inside it then clean it see guys i need to clean this entirely you know that store that nobody has gone to in 10 years that's why i found it <laughs> there's that place that like we just threw everything inside your house yeah that's why i found it so like i just i was trying to do one asymmetrical you know be an interior designer but it worked out let's it, it worked out I was actually skeptical about this when I finished painting the white and it was sipping on that but like it worked out so I just used some paper to cover the part I wasn't painting I think I should have painted the black first I really don't know how this thing work I don't know how these kind of things work like is it better to have painted the black first or painted the white first but guys don't forget to use protection yeah then I, I think I, okay, I painted the white first and I went ahead to paint the black it came out really nice by the way so yes <laughs> I nailed it then I measured one centimeter. I used this paper as like a guide so that I won't have to be taking like can you guys see how small that space is? And I'll not be putting ruler trying to balance ruler. Nope. After I measured it looked like this on both sides. Then I took this braid string cord, whatever you want to call it, and I cut it into pieces. Like you know, when you want to braid your hair and they have to like cut 
you guys can see what I'm doing. You know, I always think about it. Why do I do voiceovers when you can clearly see what somebody is doing? But then somebody used to be doing voiceover. But guys, I hope you understand what I'm like doing. If you don't understand, comment this comment section so that I can explain. I can explain better. I don't know if I have a explain. If I cannot explain, I will explain in the comment section. <laughs> but you can comment down below, Sha. So afterwards, I just glue down. So yes, this part I wanted to explain something to you guys. Now I'm serious. So I glued one side first before gluing the other side because if you are just pulled it without glue, like letting letting that one dry first, it will just be pulling it off, and like you'll be frustrated. I was frustrated for like five minutes before I eventually go, oh, okay let me do it like this you know I have sense afterwards so after I was done you need to snip all the people that you don't need all the ones that ghosted you cancel them then all the ones that they are trash throw them in the dustbin the black bag is waiting for them you know just snip all those things away and guys we are done this is the final look this one like I'm looking at it right now and like see I'm in love I found the love of my life. So guys, bye. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe.